The question is whether try the new Outlook or not. After starting my Outlook, this toggle switch appeared saying try the new Outlook. If you keep your cursor over it for long enough, it would give you a short description such as the new features, including message reminders to help you stay on top of your day. Plus you can snooze and pin messages. Who doesn't like new features? But is it as simple as that? So I will go through the hassle of trying it so that if you like it, you could also try. And if you don't like it, don't even click on it. So as soon as I clicked on this toggle, my current Outlook closed and it started to download the new Outlook and automatically installed it. You would have to log in into all your accounts one by one by entering your email IDs and passwords and the two step verification if you have set up and hope that the new Outlook would be able to synchronize your accounts properly. If it failed to synchronize, you could later click on your email and if you click on continue, you could enter your email ID and password to synchronize your other accounts. So basically the transition to the new Outlook isn't as easy, but is it worth it? It may look better with a brand new orange color, but does it have the same functionality of my old Outlook? If you look at the tabs, you can see that it has got only three tabs and under each tabs, I can't see many of the functionalities that I had with my old Outlook and in other words a lot of functions are basically missing from the new Outlook. On top of that you could see in your inbox the first email is an advertisement. For me there are enough disadvantages that the new Outlook is not as good as the old one and luckily there is still a toggle switch that you could use to switch back to your old Outlook. Feel free to give feedback to Microsoft or you could click on skip feedback in here then the new Outlook would close and after a while your old Outlook would start and hopefully everything is still intact which is in my case. That means I would not need to re-enter my email IDs and passwords and I still got all my email accounts. So basically you could still try the new Outlook and switch back to the old one. You could learn more about the new Outlook by reading this documentation. I would provide the link in the description but most importantly at the moment the new Outlook only supports Outlook.com accounts and Gmail. So if you have got Yahoo, iCloud or any other type of accounts don't even try the new Outlook. This is basically a preview of the new Outlook that is why it is missing a lot of functionalities but in the future it might be a good choice. I would like to hear your opinion on which Outlook you like more and why please mention it in the comments below